Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is part two of my give it a go horse racing video. So if you haven't seen part one, head over and check that out first. In part one, I had to go on the simulators, I learned the basics of riding a racehorse and I actually sat on my very first racehorse. But in today's video, we are stepping up to the next level. I'm going to be showing you my progression since the last time I saw you. And at the very end of this video, we're heading to the gallops for my very first gallop on a racehorse. So we're going to start back on the simulators and I want to see if you guys can spot the difference from my first video. So since I filmed my first video I've actually been back to the racing college a few times to practice for this and hopefully you'll see a big improvement so that we can get onto the gallops today. So the first thing we're doing today is I'm on the MK10 Racewood simulator and we're going to be practicing speed. So last time it was really about learning the basics but now it's making sure that I am perfect in my position and that I can hold it for a long time and that I'm very stable at high speeds because once we are on the gallops it's a very different environment. If we have a look back at my first ever time doing this, you can see how slow and how bad my position actually was. And one of the biggest improvements for me has been my fitness. I can now hold that position for much longer and I'm much more comfortable in it. And you see when I get up into the position, I'm straight into it because of the muscle memory. So now that we know I can hold my position at speed, I'm going to be taking part in one of the programs. Now this program is slightly more advanced than what I can do, so it includes um, the whip and the push, which I haven't yet learned. At the minute I'm just holding the horse and doing the pull. But we're gonna practice it anyway, because it shows some really good things, like my balance, the amount of contact I've got, whether I'm leaning on the horse, whether I'm putting more weight into one foot or the other. So it'd be really good to see how I do with this. And also it's a good test of stamina because it's about two and a half minutes long, which doesn't sound long, but when you're up in that jockey position, that is actually quite a long time. So let's see if I can finish it. It does last for two and a half minutes, so if you get tired, let me know. But you can see on here, the neck pressure. Yeah. So ideally, you're not meant to have too, you're not meant to have too much neck pressure because it'll mean that you're balancing on the yeah. neck. So it's just, you're not meant to have too much. So like one's okay, but if it's three, it would mean you've got all your weight in your hands. Yeah. yeah? But then it'll say left lean, right lean, right lean. So you'll see. But when it starts to go faster, and you're meant to be pushing, if you'd want to just keep your position, that'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, space. Not like that. Oh, so well, boy, up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're meant to just be balancing now in your normal counter position. And you can see if that starts showing you a little bit leaning to the left. That's good. You've got your balance really good. It tells you at the bottom what's going to happen next. So pull a bit to the grey. So you take a little pull on there. That's it. And balance again. Okay. Oh, you're right, Ben was excellent. <laughs> uh, obviously, 
of the whip you've not yeah. been using the whip, but your balance when you were meant to be whipping was good. So yeah, you got uh, your score might not be that high, but don't forget you weren't actually using the whip. Yeah. So that's a bit of an impact. And I guess the more you do it, the better you get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's harder yeah. to do two and a half minutes on that. Yeah. So I managed the full two and a half minutes. The concentration on my face says everything. And the reason it's really crucial that I can hold my position um, for longer and longer periods is because the gallops here is a seven furlong gallop. So it's quite a long distance um, to be up in that position for. And also when you're on a racehorse, the most tiring thing is holding them. So here, because I'm training, I'm going to be holding the horse. We're not going to be flat out galloping. So it's actually holding them that takes a lot of effort and energy, um, as you'll see shortly. But I was really proud of myself today. I really tried my best on the simulators and I really, really enjoyed it. So then moving on to a little bit of on horse practice. So today we're heading round to the yard and I am met by my beautiful barista who you saw in the last video. So since my first ride, I've actually been riding a few other horses here as well. Some who are a bit more trickier, some a bit more forward because barista, bless him, is so gentle and lovely but him being quite slow will not help me advance. However, today we're doing something different. So I've been riding some of the more forward horses, but I'm back on my favorite boy barista today because today I'm going to be learning to ride following another horse. So this means he's going to be pulling more. And the reason that we're doing this is because when I am on the gallops, I'm going to be riding in a string, which means one horse after another. So I need to make sure that I can keep my distance and that I'm getting a bit more used to horses pulling on me because my horse, when I'm on the gallops, is going to want to go and overtake the horse in front of them. They're race horses, that's what they do. So first we're going to head into the indoor school and have a bit of a practice. So my first attempt went pretty well, my position was okay, I was on the wrong leg but one, with the racehorses once you're up and you're going, especially if you're following, there's not the opportunity to stop and restart because that's when um, it will cause issues. But as you can see Bruce is quite happy to counter count around the school, um, he's not really too concerned about that. But for our second attempt we're going with a different horse just to see how we react to different horses in different paces.
that was my final ride on Little Barry Barista. He was such a good boy and he really taught me very well. He looked after me through the entire process and I've absolutely loved learning in these initial stages with everyone in the group. It's been really eye-opening and I've definitely improved so much. So this means I am finally ready for the gallops and I am going to be riding a different horse on the gallops who I will introduce you to very soon. But firstly, a massive thank you to the National Horse Racing College for having me and for putting so much time into training me properly. I've absolutely loved this experience so far and I definitely have a lot more to learn. So guys, <laughs> this bit of an interjection. So basically today is gallops day. It's the day I'm meant to be going on the gallops and having the second part of our shoot. Um, and it's snowing. <laughs> so I'm hoping today's still gonna go ahead and that I will still be going on the gallops, but possibly in the snow. And it was 20 degrees last week. So it's just chosen the day that I'm on a racehorse on the gallops of snow so um yeah we'll see what happens today not too sure how it's going to go with the snow but but let's see if we get on the gallop so this is the current weather conditions that i'm going to be riding in it has been throwing it down with snow for about 20 minutes now yeah <laughs> not ideal but we'll probably make for a very entertaining video and would you believe, just 20 minutes later, it was glorious sunshine, all the snow had gone, so I was super happy because I really didn't fancy going around the gallops in the snow. And today I've got a very special horse to introduce you to. So this is Damien, and Damien is very special here at the National Horse Racing College because he is actually the only horse that has been bred here. So all the other horses are x-race horses that are on loan to the college whereas Damien was actually bred here and his date of birth is 666 which is the reason he's called Damien but trust me he acts much better under saddle than his name suggests. So I'm super privileged to be riding such a special horse for my gallops experience. So welcome to the all weather seven furlong gallops here at the National Horse Racing College. So we've just walked around to the gallops and now it's time to warm up. So we warm up similar to what we do in the indoor arena, um, but out here we're going to walk a little bit and then we're going to trot two laps of the gallops, which is quite a long way, but the horses are going to be doing some high intensity exercise now um, when we do go for the canter around the gallops. So the instructors are going to follow us around in the car because obviously this is a very big area and we're going to be going at higher speeds out here. So they'll be in the car and there are eight students on the gallops warming up at the moment consisting of two strings of four. So one set are going to canter around first and then the second set will go after us. So today I am part of the first set which means I'm very shortly going to be cantering around here. But first let's get warmed up.
So now that we've gone round the gallops twice and everyone is nice and warmed up and the horse is all ready to go, we've dropped down to walk and the first ring which includes me, I'm now shortening our stirrups for canter. So for the jockey position you need your stirrups much higher um, and much shorter and the reason for that is because obviously I'm out the saddle, I'm in jockey position and the shorter the stirrups are actually the more stable you are in that position. So in the walk is when we adjust them, which I actually found really hard, um, adjusting stirrups on the go whilst trying to steer and everything. And that's probably one of the hardest parts I've actually had um, whilst doing this entire experience, which I was not expecting. So then we'll allow the other horses to leave the gallops and they're going to walk around a school that's just on the side of us. And then it's time for my string to set off around the gallops. So there we go, maybe I do have what it takes to be a jockey after all. I completed the gallops, I had an amazing time, it was so much fun, it was really great being up there with everyone. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the National Horse Racing College for having me here and for giving me this opportunity. It has been absolutely incredible to give horse racing a go. I've had so much fun and learned so much and the instructors everyone have been so friendly and lovely, so a massive thank you to them. If you are at all interested in the college or pursuing a career in the horse racing industry, then keep watching because there's some really good information coming up. So here we are at the National Horse Racing College, which is just outside Doncaster, where we train people for the horse racing industry. Many other parts of racing actually do, if you like, the other side of the, of the same coin. The rest of the industry uses people to train horses, 
What we do is we use horses to train people. And some of the horses are here in this barn uh, today. Some of, them have been, uh, some of them have been here for a number of years and are very good at what they do. They are good at keeping learners uh, on their backs as opposed to sliding off. They are good at teaching them the things that they need to learn about how to control, uh, how to ride a thoroughbred in various environments, whether that's indoor school or on the gallops. So the job of the college, uh, training people for the industry, the large part of our day-to-day -day activity is focused around what we call the foundation course. And the foundation course starts people, as it were, from the beginning. So about a third of the learners who come to us have never had any experience at all of working with horses, probably have never ridden, and that is not an impediment to success. Not having experience is actually, in some respects, can be somewhat easier because you don't come with any preconceived ideas or any bad habits. At the same time, there are some of our learners who come with quite a bit of experience and they can build on that, but with the guidance and advice of our highly qualified instructor team. What we do is we exercise, the way I describe it uh, for, for most people, is that we exercise good leadership enthusiastic leadership to provide people with a nurturing, inspiring and motivating opportunity to develop or enhance a, uh, an enthusiasm for, uh, the racing, for racing and the racing industry and to learn the skills that they need to get jobs in the industry. A lot of colleges, a lot of training courses may be perfectly good as far as they go but they're not necessarily as good as they could be, or perhaps you would want them to be, at actually getting people into jobs at the end of the training. Here, we have a, an extraordinary record. The team here does some fantastic work getting people into a position where they go from the training we provide into real jobs. About 96%, as we stand at the moment, almost all of those who graduate from our foundation course go into a job at the end of it. And that foundation course is really quite short. It's intense, but it is short. It, we cover the same amount of activity in three months, so that's just 12 weeks, as uh, normal colleges cover in a whole year. So what that means is that it's really, really good use of your time as potential learners. But rather than spending a lot of time before you're in a position to go out there and move on from training into real work with real salaries, it actually happens really, really quickly. And the cost to those who come on our foundation course is extraordinarily low. So for those who have, um, perhaps who, who don't have many resources themselves, all of the training and the accommodation, feeding and basically everything that you need for the three month course is free. For those who are perhaps a little bit uh, better placed, families who uh, do have some resources, then the cost is still very modest at only £300 for the whole course and that's as I say more than a year's worth of college training. It is fully residential so you're provided with accommodation, we feed you uh, throughout, we look after all our learners in a very, as I said, nurturing way because our job is to enable your success. You're not here to help us get what we need out of it. We are here to help you get what you need out of it. That's our mission, and that's what we do very successfully. It would be great to see you here if you chose to come. And so that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the Give It A Go series. There's plenty more to come and I will see you all very soon for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye guys.